16-bit version of Hook is an action-adventure game that takes players on a nostalgic journey back to the early 1990s. Released for various platforms, including the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, or SNES, the game attempts to capture the magic of the movie it's based on. Visually, the game features colorful pixel art that effectively recreates the settings and characters from the film. The sprite work for Peter Banning, Tinkerbell, and Captain Hook is recognizable in the environments. While limited in detail due to hardware constraints, managed to invoke the feeling of Neverland. Gameplay-wise, Hook is a platformer with elements of action and puzzle solving. Players control Peter Banning as he navigates through various levels, battling enemies and solving puzzles to rescue his kidnapped children. The controls are responsive enough, allowing players to jump, attack, and interact with objects. One of the game's highlights is its level design. Each stage is themed around a specific area from the movie, like the pirate ship or the Lost Boys hideout. This variety keeps the gameplay fresh and engaging, although the difficulty can sometimes spike unexpectedly, leading to moments of frustration. The combat mechanics are relatively straightforward, though, with Peter using different weapons to defeat enemies. However, the combat lacks depth and variety, often devolving into repetitive button mashing. The puzzles offer a nice change of pace, requiring players to use their wits to progress. Some puzzles are cleverly designed, while others might feel just a bit cryptic. The music in Hook deserves special mention, though, as it effectively captures the adventures and whimsical tone of Neverland. The tunes are catchy and memorable, adding to the overall atmosphere of the game. While the 16-bit Hook game successfully delivers a nostalgic tie-in to the movie, it has its fair share of limitations. The graphics, while charming, are constrained by the hardware of the time, and the gameplay can be uneven in terms of challenge. Despite its shortcomings, fans of the film might appreciate the chance to relive the story through this interactive adaptation.